Mike here with Stress Free RVs in sunny San Diego. Behind me is a 2021 Keystone Springdale 282BH, which stands for Bunkhouse Edition. Right now in this video, we're going to focus on one of the two-part series for your walkthrough tutorials. This is going to focus on the exterior. Your second part will be the interior. So follow me, and we'll look at the very first thing. Your nose here is connected to your adjustable hitch and shank system. That's going to be a weight distribution, which we have already pre-installed the brackets for. We're going to do that connection for you. Do the disconnect, show you how to do it on your own. You have an electric tongue jack with the light. You have your dual propane, which are oversized. You have dual battery system. And then we've gone ahead and added a combination lock, which is specific for your reservation. That way you can keep your spare keys set aside. As we look at the compartments, here you have a clip and you have your pass-through. What we've done is we've made this super duper convenient and easy for you. We've labeled, bagged, and tagged everything. So you have your accessories in the green bag, you have your septic hose in a black bag, your electrical in a white bag, and your extra fresh water hose in a blue bag. Here is the hitch that we're gonna provide that's an adjustable. As we keep moving backwards a little bit, you'll notice actually right here, these are power jacks. Makes your life a lot easier. They extend and retract Push of a button. That'll level you out for stabilizing. Your first door is going to lead you right into the common area in your living room. What we've done is we put our label right here. So in case you have any questions, you need any help with anything, feel free to reach out. The QR code brings you straight to our website. And the same goes in case anybody else wants to book some units from us. Now you know how. We're going to do the interior a little bit separately. So as we come to our second entrance, the great thing is that this is the bathroom and it's private. You don't have to disturb the rest of the guests or the people you're staying with. You don't have to walk mud through the whole unit. You can just go in and out, easy access. And that's what that second entrance is for. Uh, behind me, you have your outdoor shower. And so this is a quick rinse off. Before you step in, you can just quickly rinse off and then head on in. Above me is the awning. There's a power awning with LED lights. We do ask that you use it responsibly. If we pan up and look at the flap right here, that's your stopping point. So anytime you're using the power awning and extending it, that's how you know you want to stop. That's the perfect dimension, perfect stopping point. It will automatically retract on its own and that could damage the unit. So that's why we ask that you really be responsible. We discourage using it. We do provide you with the pop-up canopy if you'd like, but nonetheless, it is pretty wonderful when it's open. Let's go around back. So as we swing to the rear tail side, you have your spare tire. And you also have your power cord. So I had mentioned previously that typically we keep it in a bag in the pass-through. On this unit, it's built in and it's retractable. Just like you have a ladder here. We don't allow anybody to go on the roof for safety reasons. This ladder is purely for maintenance purposes, and that's why it's there. Uh, please don't go on the roof for any reason. As we swing around, you have additional storage here. This is where we keep your hose extensions. And you've got a lot of space in there. So all of your luggage, anything that you need while traveling, you can stash in there. Now, I know that the slide out is open behind me, so I'm going to move backwards a little bit, but this way we can focus on your septic connections. Now, you have two septic connections. You have a gray and a black. We're going to discuss those a bit separately and provide you an educational tutorial video on how to use your septic and how to uh, engage that, make sure that there's no messes. All the way around to the front side is how you're going to fill up your water. So here you have a fresh water connection and you have a city water connection. What does that mean? Well, if you're camping at a resort and you have a full hookup site where there's a water spigot ready for you, all you do, connect your hose, twist it, and you're done. You got water on demand. However, if you're going dry camping or boondocking as we call it, then you're going out to the desert. You need to fill up your fresh tank in advance, and that's pre-filled. So for that, when you're at your house or here, if you want us to do it, we take the hose, we fill this up, we check our sensors and gauges, and as soon as it's full, we put the cap on, stop, and that's all the water you got for your trip. Thanks so much for watching and sticking around with us. For more information on details, photos, specs, any questions, please visit us at the web on stressfreervs.com. Thank you so much.